journey. Me too. I love you. I love you too. See ya. Abby, my wife, is taking our two therapeutic foster girls to the learning center. They can get going with their development. They were really uh, neglected, just treated badly by the people who were taking care of them before their biological parents. <laughs> and so, yeah, they've been placed in our care and we're just trying to speed things up because they're both a few years behind. So, anyways, yeah, keep them in your prayers. Don't know what's going on today. Not really. I saw that Supreme is releasing an axe, though. I really want that. That would be cool. Um, but yeah, see what happens today. It's super rainy again. Crazy cold. Getting a summer. Gotta love this up and down weather, but I guess it's supposed to like heat up in the next couple of days, so. Uh, this weekend is gonna be crazy though. We got our men's conference, and so yeah, my time is gonna be really taken up with that, but I'll still try and vlog here and there, so yeah, let's get going. Bunch of prizes. Got the merch shirt done. Send that out today with the Supreme sticker. To my raffle winner, I'm gonna have more raffles coming up. Once we get to a thousand subs, we will do a shoe raffle as well. We'll probably do another merch one here soon. I just wanna check and see what Spencer's up to. He's got something going in here. What you doing, man? Gotta get, get that this. crazy music going. Yeah, we need that crazy It's conference music. week. Yes, it is conference week. It's gonna be awesome. That's what all those prizes were for on this table. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to uh, Mr. Conley. Go check out Ailey Smith and Jones Pond. Pond shop love. Pond shop hopping. Pond shop steals all day. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get to work. See you guys around. All right, now I'm heading over to the new church building to keep going on the work I've already started. And I've got some other stuff to drop off on the way. The box, I'm gonna ship that off to the buyer. These are from the church for fundraising. And then we got our cornhole boards back there. We'll be playing those over the weekend at our men's conference. Good time to sharpen each other, you know, better ourselves, all that good stuff. So it's gonna be a good weekend. It's gonna be a full weekend. It's about to get real crazy around here. Oh, look at all this. This was all, this whole beam here, this one up here. It was all gray, the primer, this whole thing was gray. That's all painted now. And we still got guys. And then I also painted all the way up to that point. Right to there. Yeah, so working hard today, getting some stuff done, uh, running everywhere, running errands, this and that. It's been a busy day. But now we're gonna go home and go to the spot and yeah, we'll open some pallets. Let's get to it. Hey, y'all, what is up? I got an item in the mail. Before I open it up though, I want to remind you guys, let's be on purpose, be living on purpose. Life is so short. I was just reminded of that. We were all reminded of that yesterday with the passing of XXX Temptation. He was murdered and that could happen to anybody. Like anybody could die. Anybody could be saying mean things about somebody else. I mean, I'm not saying it was because of anything that he said or did. Some people just want to go after famous people or people who have money or just anybody that they don't agree with or something. We have to be reminded life is short. You can be the nicest person. You can be the rudest person and life is just going to hit you one day and it's going to be over. You're going to be in the next life. We really need to focus on what is the next life all about? What does it really mean? Why are we even here? And that's why I built this channel is to just show you guys you can be a hype you can be into fashion, you can be into all this stuff, but you can be confident with eternity. So it, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and open this item from Palace. Just pull the tab and it opens up real quick. We have first off, a return receipt thing, a label of receipt thingy, <laughs> and did they give me a sticker? No sticker, but we did get the long sleeved tee. On the plastic of this packaging here, you do have the white triferg, and you've got one label down here. Just a little tiny label. Sunshine yellow. Yeah, long sleeve. Pretty cool design on this t shirt. And let's go ahead, let's open this up. Oh, yeah, on the back there's a little bit of text back here. Palace warning. Do not place over your head. It is not a transparent space hat. <laughs> they always say such funny stuff on their postings and whatever. All right, let's go ahead and pull this out of here. 
and then in between they did put a piece of tissue paper, this moisture gel, to, uh, yeah, moisture reducer thing. Put all the paper back in the bag. Make sure you keep that all together. You always want to keep all your stuff, all your tags together for each item, unless you're just like gonna wear it until it gets destroyed. But you can wear some fashion items like shoes or streetwear or whatever. And then after a while, after you're done with it, you can sell it and sometimes you make a little money depending on how hot the item is. But that's one cool thing about streetwear. It's one of the main reasons why I can get so many pieces is because I kind of go through them. So on this one, we do have one tag on the back of your neck. Well, sort of, it's a printed tag. Palace triangle there, size large. And then you have on the inside left, you got this tag here. Very standard palace tag, one like that. It's like a paper kind of fabric stuff. And then you have your text on the back. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. There you go. Yeah. And then a very intense graphic on this guy. When I first saw this graphic, when they first dropped with the t-shirts, I was like, I'm not really into that. I don't know if I like that. It's pretty weird. Um, it's got like a cat mouth and then just a bunch of circles to try and make a face. And it does end up making a face, but yeah, it is quite the graphic, really covering the palace trifurc on the back, and then the same exact one, same exact graphic right there. Let's go ahead, I'll try this on, and then you guys can tell me what you think about it. Here it is. Definitely like the fit, the large, just the sleeves. They're great, nice and long. Great for me, I need the sleeves to be long. That's why I have to get a large. This is a large, this is what it's gonna look like. I'm 6'1", 150 pounds, and the sleeves, yeah. Looking good, like it. And you got your little logo right down here, and on the back, you got the big logo. Maybe pull the sleeves up, see how that looks. More of a summer look, summer vibe. Yeah, that graphic is intense. Uh, <laughs> anyways, we're gonna get into the Bible now. This is the Jesus Taco Channel. I wanted to read you guys again from 1 Corinthians chapter 14. I just wanna read you guys the very last verse. Verse 39, well actually two verses. Verse 39 and 40. So my dear brothers and sisters, be eager to prophesy and don't forbid speaking in tongues, but be sure that everything is done properly and in order. So this verse is basically just pushing, and it really spoke to me, that we need to be eagerly desiring to uplift people, to give them positive messages to hear things from God that we're supposed to give to other people. Messages of encouragement, just to tell somebody that God loves them, just to point somebody to the fact that there's a plan for their life, that there's something big that they could be doing, that there's a purpose they can be living for. Like just positive, positive messages. And that's mainly what prophecy is. A lot of people just think it's like foretelling the future, but really it's just a message from God. A prophecy is a message from God for somebody. And God is very encouraging and he wants to lift us up, and make us feel good and really strengthen us on the inside. So we need to eagerly be desiring to prophesy, to give messages that are from God. And then we also need to never push somebody away for speaking in tongues. Like if somebody is cool with praying in their spirit language, just let them do that. If you're not into it yet, or you're not gonna get into it, whatever, that's your deal. But be okay with people doing that because it does strengthen themselves. I've had several dreams in the past, which dreams are also messages from God. And and God has shown me the power of speaking in tongues, of speaking in your prayer language. And those dreams seemed very real to me and they really stuck with me and I don't think I'll ever forget them. I even wrote a couple of them down just because I didn't want to forget. And yeah, so it's very real, very powerful. And then also God is a God of order. He wants things to happen. We should be putting order into our lives, getting better and better at living on purpose, living with a real meaning and just taking care of our time that we have because time can't be wasted. We're never guaranteed tomorrow. So we need to live today on purpose and do some things that are meaningful. So anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks so much for chilling with me. If you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button, yo. Once we get to a thousand subscribers, I'm definitely gonna do a shoe raffle. So be ready for that. We'll do some sort of a boost sneaker. Maybe you've already subscribed. Well, get your friends to subscribe, yo. Hit that thumbs up button. Let's get the word out that you can be a hype beast and you can be a Christian at the same exact time. You can be a follower of Jesus and be cool with the current fashion trends. So this is me, Jesus Taco, stepping along another day. See you guys later. Make sure to comment.